about you guys, but one of the best feelings in the world is crawling into bed after a long day of work or DIYing. As I get older, that's becoming more true. So lately, I've put a lot of effort into making our bed our favorite spot in the house. And we spend so much of our time in it, so it should be the most comfortable and coziest spot in our home. There's a handful of basic elements you need to create that perfect sanctuary. And today, I'm gonna share my favorite tips on how to make sure your bed is living its best life. First up, I always like to ground the space with a rug. Even if your bedroom has carpeting, a rug will help define the space and make it feel more finished. I tend to use natural fibers like this braided jute rug, which is inexpensive, easy to maintain, and goes with any style. Now comes the big decision, which bed to buy. Regardless of the size or style of the bed, I recommend getting one that includes side rails and a footboard. It doesn't have to be anything large or fancy, but I think a bed with four sides always feels the most complete and polished. I also like a headboard with some height, which will help make it the focal point of the room. I found this beautiful upholstered tufted bed on Overstock, and I love it because it's neutral enough to use with any style decor or bedding. At the very least, you'll want a nice headboard, and then you can use any metal bed frame or box spring and cover them up with a bed skirt. After you've selected your bed, you'll need to find the right size box spring. With the bed I chose, the side rails come up only around 4 inches from the box spring base, so I had to find a low profile foundation so that it wouldn't be visible. I found this 4 inch wood platform on Overstock, which was easy to assemble and fit right into the bed. Now it's time to add your mattress. We bought a used one a few months ago off Craigslist, and it's not exactly comfortable. If your bed doesn't feel like pure heaven, do yourself a favor and get a good mattress topper. Luckily, you don't need to go out and buy an expensive mattress because a good mattress topper will do the same thing. I chose this 4 inch Comfortpedic gel foam topper on Overstock, and it's honestly the softest bed I've ever been on. There's all different kinds out there with different firmness levels, so choose the one that works for you. Okay, now we're getting to the fun part, bedding. Here's a basic formula I like to stick to. First, you've got your pillow shams, then your regular pillows, and your accent pillows. On the mattress, you have your fitted sheet, your flat sheet, your duvet, and finally a quilt or blanket. When choosing each of these, you want to focus on three things, material, pattern, and color. There should be a variety of each so the bedding doesn't fall flat visually. It's all about layering these different elements together. I like to use at least a few different materials. For example, a cotton, linen, lace, and something thicker and woven. Generally, I'll find a pattern I love first and use that as my inspiration. I found this floral sheet set on Spoonflower, which has several shades of pink and green in it. So I used a dusty rose pink and a sage green as my accent color throughout the room to tie everything together. The great thing about sheet sets is that you normally get two sheets and two pillowcases. So if it has a pattern, try using just one of the sheets or the pillowcases and you'll end up with a variety of looks. After choosing your pattern, you'll want to break it up with solid colors so it's not too overwhelming. Whiter ivory acts like a blank canvas and gives your eyes a place to rest. And it's just a very light and calming color, so I always make sure there's plenty of it in bedrooms. I found the sage green woven quilt at a thrift store, which works nicely with the floral pattern. Accent pillows are another great way to bring in coordinating solid colors. And every bed needs a big fluffy duvet so it has that nice and full look. I look for the thickest duvet possible, and this one I found on Overstock is perfect. I placed it inside this white linen duvet cover from Pom Pom at Home. Linen is one of my favorite textures for a bed because it feels so rich and luxurious, but still casual at the same time. Once you have your mix of materials, color, and pattern, you can have fun layering them together in different ways. There's no right or wrong here. As long as you stick to the basic formula, you can experiment and see what your favorite look is. The final step and one of my styling must-haves is a good fabric steamer. Wrinkles are your bedding's biggest enemy, and they really stand out in photos. So make sure your fabrics are nice and smooth. And you're done. Now step back and admire your beautiful new bed or crawl in and take a well-deserved nap. <laughs>